Hello, Libra. Welcome to the Plaid Sheep Oracle. You have a very nice reading today, Libra. Uh, this, um, if you're watching this when I post it, clearly this Aries full moon uh, has been good for you. We begin with optimism. Just this, I love this card with this giant sunflower. It's like the sun card in the tarot. Optimism. And the visible underlying is manifestation with intuition right below that. And then on the invisible is mindfulness. And this came out uh, in Virgo's reading too. And whenever I get the word mindfulness, I generally don't think of it in the Buddhist sense or in the sense of, you know, mindfulness meditation, but in the sense of mindful as opposed to mindless. So paying attention. You know, we often talk about, you know, do we or do we not have free will? And I think the answer to that is that yes, we do, but sometimes we give it up because we operate on autopilot. And not just for the things that one, you know, where autopilot makes sense, like tying your shoes and locking your door as you leave the house and, you know, knowing how to drive. These are useful things. Um, to, to let the body do its thing, using the muscle memory. But we don't want to kind of go through all of life doing that. Kind of making the same choices over and over again. Uh, I mentioned in the Virgo reading, and I'll mention it here, this great book by Ellen Langer, who is a psychologist. And she did a bunch of experiments about mind and what happens when we think about things and um and it's just really interesting anyway maybe i'll link it in the description if i can remember so paying attention essentially uh to what is happening not not making choices on autopilot <clears throat> and this is definitely about making choices because we have here this two of swords and I often don't really see the man here, right? This is sort of the Little Mermaid thing, and he's there, he's shipwrecked and um, unconscious at this point. I think that at some point you thought that your choices were really limited. The kind of both choices weren't so great, because right below this we have the Seven of Pentacles, which is this kind of black swan, red shoes, self-torturous thing going on. And then the bottom of the deck is this sit there and just, you know, allow life to kind of pour in on you. And both of those choices, I mean, neither of those seems really attractive. that you can either, you know, sort of work your fingers to the bone or you can, you know, just kind of collapse and um, let things roll over you. Uh, and that you thought these were your only two choices. But I think that now you are saying that this is not the case because the next card is in fact the sun, clarity, the light coming on. The light coming on, seeing, seeing what's really there, seeing, um, maybe seeing that you have more skills than you thought you did, or uh, that you know life may just be better than you thought it was, or seeing choices that didn't seem to be there before. And then we have this angel, and she's an extra card in this deck. And she is 
um, her meaning is really coming to yourself, being, you know, the journey to being uh, fully yourself without other people's crap that overlaid on you. Right. And then the chariot getting going, um, you know, lining things up and she's here, um, you know, she's on a magic carpet. And her horses are these two chess pieces that she's levitating. <laughs> so that, you know, you might not even need the chariot that you thought you needed. And then the three of wands, that fiery inspiration. Ready to really ready to move to to do what you want to do. And kind of this, this row is sort of what, kind of what underlies this, this realization, this change. Um, because we have, for one thing, we have this toadstool's growth. And, you know, this, this looks as if it could have happened, you know, kind of over a long period of time and, and without um, you know, sometimes when things change gradually, we don't really notice that they're happening because they're happening so gradually. And then suddenly one day, you know, it's like not really noticing on a daily basis that your hair is getting longer and then suddenly realizing that it's down to your butt while you weren't looking kind of, um, right. The bottom of the deck is change. And below this growth is trust. And this trust, I think, is in yourself, in you. That part of your growth has been learning to trust you over anybody or anything else. Right, so that's wisdom gained. Um, you may also have been learning, right? Learning things, not just growing, but learning things, gaining wisdom, perhaps without even really realizing it until now. Um, you know, we're also in our own heads, so we may not, you know, we may be comparing ourselves to some, um, you know, distant star, right? You know, the, the wisest person that you know, <laughs> or, you know, has ever appeared, you know, that you've ever, you know, read their work or, you know, whatever the, right, this kind of, um, and so that it feels like you, you haven't reached that, you know, you're not Yoda. So maybe you're not wise. Um, but everything is relative, right? You may not be as wise as that wisest person ever, but you have a lot of wisdom for a human being living on the planet. You have more than enough wisdom to move ahead. And really being able to see that, I think this, right, this sun is not just seeing the choices that you have clearly, but seeing yourself clearly, um, seeing your own strength, seeing all the ways that you have, not just the ways that you've survived, but the ways in which you've been open, the ways that you've welcomed people, the ways that you've been vulnerable, and all of those are signs of strength. And then there's acceptance. And I want to say that this is acceptance, not so much of your situation, but that you, that you have reached this point. 
Uh, this could be, you know, in something specific, we could be talking about skill in a job. Uh, you know, maybe you've been learning how to be a doctor or uh, an architect or uh, a sculptor or uh, something, right? Anything. And that you've been putting off, maybe you've been putting off venturing into the deeper waters. Maybe, you know, you've been putting off asking for a promotion or, you know, putting your name in for a promotion or, you know, even seeking a job somewhere else if you're, wherever you are, doesn't have space. You know, or maybe, you know, putting out your own shingle. Acceptance that this growth has occurred. And it can be, you know, I think it can be difficult to accept that you've changed, that you've grown, that you're not who you were, that you have wisdom, that you see things more clearly. Um, you know, again, we're, we're kind of in our own heads. Uh, when the change happens really gradually, we might not really see it in its fullness. We might still feel like we're, you know, over here in first grade when really we're, you know, all the way in sixth grade. And then gratitude. Appreciation. Really, um, you know, the ability to receive openly, gratefully, happily, without any feelings of, you know, needing to immediately reciprocate. That there doesn't have to be, you know, an immediate balance. If someone gives you a gift, that you can just be so excited that they did that and, and be so pleased and appreciative and grateful and um, express all these things to them and not, you know, run out immediately and buy them a present. <laughs> that you can just accept with joy and openness, right? Like this fairy who's being uh, rained on by this golden shower. I think that the next card we have here is speed. Um, and underneath the deck is this water creation energy. And I think that you're going to go kind of go from zero to 60 really fast. That it will, it will sort of feel like you're in this place. Kind of still, because she looks like she might be, right, like trying to choose between two things, right, kind of weighing them up in her hands. And I think that when you, when you come into this full realization of, you know, how much wisdom, how much strength, uh, how much capacity you have, when you realize how many choices you really have, that any decision that you make is gonna then happen quickly. Um, you know, we're gonna go from this clarity right into this hearth card. So, I mean, there doesn't look like there's a lot of movement here in this hearth card, but I think that you're going to go from feeling like you don't quite know what to do, your choice seems very limited, neither one seems very attractive, then there's going to be this 
understanding and maybe you're already having it. Uh, you might even wake up one morning and just suddenly be more clear. And when that happens, what you're going to feel is ease. It's like a noise that maybe you didn't know was happening going off. You know, if you've ever been somewhere that's had an, you know, an air conditioner or something going on in the background and it's a drone. And so you, you maybe don't even know that it's on and then suddenly it clicks off and you're in silence <laughs> and you realize, you know, that maybe your body's been tense this whole time and you just didn't know it. It was, you know, sort of resisting the noise and you didn't even know it until the noise stops and you're completely relaxed again. And that's the, right, that's what we're talking about here. It's like there's been some noise that has been in the back of your mind, in your head, uh, you know, the noise of beliefs, the noise of other people, the noise of culture, right, that are pressing on you, keeping you kind of tense, keeping you in this idea that there's only bad and worse. And then this flip. And it's like the noise gets turned off. And there's a hush. Silence. And ease. And then from there, the ability to move forward is much, much easier, right? Because you now you can hear. You're not weighed down by this extraneous noise. And so you get the Knight of Swords. Moving at speed, moving with clarity, moving with exuberance and lightness and excitement. And actually right below him, the, where he's kind of going is the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Inspiration. The Queen of Passion and Fire. And, you know, I, I want to remove passion from the sphere of doing. We often talk about where you have to find your passion, right? Like your passion project. You have to find the, the profession, the thing, the doing that is your passion. But I think that that, that sells passion short. I think that one can live with passion about many things, just about living. And that this is where you are headed. Um, the bottom of the deck is this nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. Um, personal, emotional fulfillment. Right, the, the unlocking the opening of your own center, right? Not just the heart, right? Heart, solar plexus, sacral chakra, the whole line up here in your center. And then we have this, this kind of process um, where you Right? You kind of shine things up. You, you know, take some time to, you know, think about what it is that you really want. To choose your stars. 
and then to really polish those. And see, these stars are absolutely within her reach. She's not, you know, gazing off at some star in the distance. She can touch them. And then we have the High Priestess leaning into that intuition that we saw here under manifestation. Feeling the intuition much more clearly now that that noise has stopped. Her big day, right? Your debut here in your passionate red outfit. I mean, this, this may be to do with some specific profession, job, thing, but it may also be just how you intend to move through your life as a whole. Right? This is your big day when you debut as your full passionate self in the greatest show on earth. And this, right, right, is your fellowship, its source, it's probably your friends who've been thinking just for years and years how awesome you are. <laughs> and how much they love you and how much they wish all the very best for you. And they're really excited to see this in you. So Libra, advice, formally. Well, for one thing, the world, allow the change to happen. We can resist here at the threshold because we feel uncertain. You know, are, are we right, are we ready? You know, is this sunlight that I feel on my face real. So to go, right, to, to, to go through the portal, um, right, this five of cups is at the bottom of the deck. So right, allowing, right, allowing all of that to empty, to release, the pain of the past. Go through, go through the portal, go across the threshold. Below that, we have this page of cups, who I don't always notice it, but um, it has this flying pig here. <laughs> so, um, right, when pigs fly is a thing that's, when pigs fly, pigs are flying, Libra. There are flying pigs. If you thought that this would never happen, it is happening now. Allow it to happen, right? Allow that fire that's growing in your mind to really grow. Allow the passion to build. Um, allow yourself to choose what the heart wants. And accept the power that this gives you. Accept that you are a creator, that you can bring things into manifestation. And then the Three of Wands repeats. Go, the wave, right? The wave is there, you can see it. You have all the skills, the strength, the wisdom, the ability to ride the biggest wave, Libra. You're so ready. You are so ready, Libra. This was a quick reading, so much quicker than usual. It's that speed, right? When you, 
when you realize that it's time to go, then it's time to go. You're just going to go. I wish you all the very, very best, Libra. And I will see you next time. So long.